A fantastic day for Owen Farrell and Saracens here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as he, on the 20, 250th appearance for his club, helps the team run out magnificent winners and hopefully build their way into the playoffs in the Gallagher Premiership. Wonderful to see those pictures. Great to have Owen Farrell with us. We remember seeing you as a nipper out on the pitch when your dad was picking up trophies as a player. What was it like for you today to have your family here to make your 250th appearance for the club? Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, the, the kids have been talking about it all week. They've, they've known about it for, for a while now, so um, they've been uh, they've been itching, itching to get out here. So especially to have a, a milestone on a, a brilliant occasion at this fantastic stadium in front of 60,000 people against a rival, a rival of ours in, in Quinns and, and have all your family is brilliant, yeah. The execution today, just from a rugby perspective and a captain, how pleased are you with the way the team went about their business? Yeah, uh, brilliant. I think you'll you'll look at that scoreboard and, and um, a lot of it will be about the tries that we scored. And, and I think that started off the game really well for us. We executed well. We, we got some points on the board and that probably made Quinns have to chase the game a, a bit early. But I, I thought the best part of our game was our defence today, uh, especially in that first half. Um, I thought I thought we looked we looked solid. I thought we looked aggressive, and I think a lot of the good stuff came off the back of that. Baz, how special is this group of players? The ones you come through the academy, the ones who have come in, the ones you've grown with, but also the fans here. How how loved you are and supported. And... Yeah, well, a lot of us have been here for a long time, <laughs> Robo. Like, and you you know you know that. And uh, when you've been here for that for this long, and uh, you care about the place, don't you? And there's a lot of us that's been here for this long. There's a lot of us that's been on a on a grown up together really and, uh, and uh, you're talking about the fans the fans are, the fans have been the same in that so i think uh, i think when you've got that much invested into a place like like a lot of us have here you you really do care what have the last eight weeks been like for you you don't normally have a break this time of year with the ability to recharge and obviously you took in a couple of games during the six nations as well how have the last couple of weeks been yeah good it's been it's been different um been able to do some stuff that i've not been able to do for for a long time i've had I've had a, I've had a, I've had a, a good break. Uh, so, I mean, we've come back in now. There's some, there's some. We've, we've all at different stages. Some lads have played quite a lot of rugby over the Six Nations. Some of us have played none for a while now. Like, um, I've been itching to get out here today. It was was pretty, felt pretty pent up. So, um, I'm glad we got a performance out of it. Can I just ask you? It might seem like a simple question, but how are you feeling? You've made some very big decisions of late, and many people seeing you here today remarking. And just how happy you seem to be. Does it does it feel that way? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> that's the that's that's the aim. I want to I want to enjoy myself. I want to um, I want to love all of it. I've always loved the um, the games. I've always loved being part of it. I want to I want to uh, probably I've given myself a bit of space over the past eight weeks, like we've talked about, to to get him back to enjoying myself, and uh, I want to carry that on now while while I'm playing. How good would it feel to win with a trophy in your hands? Yeah, we'll see. There's no point in talking about that at this moment in time. What we need to talk about is how we get better on today. And, you know, you can get carried away with yourself when you look at the scoreboard. Um, but we've had eight weeks together where we've, where we've put some work in. Um, and we want to build on it now that we're all back together. Uh, there's some boys that need a rest. And there's some boys that will get chances. And we need to make sure we keep, we keep building and see where we can take it. And if we do that, we'll... We'll see, how, we'll see how much we can enjoy it at the same time.